this section we'll uh, talk about vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary is very important, the potential question here, because uh, you are being tested uh, on a basic level. So you should know the basics of uh, and the meaning of the laws that are used or the terms of definitions that are used. Uh, it also helps you to understand the basic con concepts and uh, the meaning of some of these keywords. Uh, and this is not exhaustive, but we just wrote the important things that you should know. Uh, order of precedence, uh, that means if in case of conflict between uh, different reference documents such as codes, recommended practice, standards, project specifications, procedures, purchase order, there should be a order of precedence when one document overrules or vetoes another reference documents in case of contradiction between them. For example, uh, API 570 code is the governing document that overrides ASME B31.3 piping construction code when pipe is in service, but API 570 cannot be in conflict with any prevailing regulatory requirements or jurisdictional or law or government regulation and unless it's more stringent than them and obviously if it's more stringent that means it, it's not contradicting them by over and above what is the minimum requirement by the law. Examination uh, means QC activities such as NDT activities. It's not an inspection. Uh, uh, so inspection means verification actually uh, and examination is uh, of the QC activities. Uh, this could be, uh, the analogy could be like a laboratory blood test examination, uh, where the doctor's diagnosis, this could be in, in which who does the interpretation and prescription is actually, um, is inspection. Examination uh, report shall be approved by inspector, although the inspector does not need to be a qualified NDT examiner and uh, NDT technician examines or evaluates the material by one of the NDT methods or techniques and reports the result and says what is the size, type or location of this continuity. An NDT examiner can also report the acceptance or rejection crit criteria of a material or equipment against an approved acceptance criteria if authorized by the inspector so he can do the interpretation as well in any event it is the inspector who shall approve the examination report so please remember that the inspector is the final authority in accepting or rejecting the qc report and NDT examination report because the uh, inspector is eventually responsible for certifying that uh, uh, piping is fit for service or otherwise External examination is normally a visual examination from outside, external of the tank, and the maximum interval is five years, according to API 570 code. Imperfection, discontinuity, defect. Now, imperfection and discontinuity are usually used interchangeably. Uh, discontinuity is a distortion in the material. If it is acceptable, that is, the size of discontinuity is beyond the acceptance criteria, then it is called the defect, then it is unacceptable, and it is therefore rejectable. Um, otherwise, if it is below the acceptance criteria, the maximum allowable limit for that type of discontinuity, that discontinuity is uh, acceptable because it's below the threshold. Um, remember that the defect it's a discontinuity, but the discontinuity may or may not be a defect depending whether it is exceeding the acceptance criteria or it is not. So you have to compare a discontinuity against the acceptance criteria and decide whether it is acceptable, which is termed discontinuity, or unacceptable, this is, which is known as defect. And this is called interpretation. And as we said, evaluation is sizing the discontinuity type, location, and uh, etc. Interpretation versus evaluation. So evaluation is intended to 
identify the type, size, and location of a discontinuity and categorizing it, such as porosity, crack, lack of fusion, say gas hole, stringer, and seam, and the like, whereas interpretation means comparing the discontinuity against an approved acceptance criteria in order to determine whether it is acceptable or not. Obviously, you first need to evaluate the discontinuity and then interpret it. Receive versus precision. They are uh, often used interchangeably, but they have very different meanings. Accuracy is used for calibration purpose and uh, measurements that are close to a known value or accurate, but measurements that are close to each other is uh, precise. So precision is about variation and accuracy is about is about uh, how close uh, they are to a known value. Okay, so accuracy is used for calibration. The point of measurement normally means a circular area maximum with a diameter of three inch. That's called a point of measurement or conditioning monitoring location or testing point or examination point. Authorization and relevant key personnel. There are a few uh, key per, uh, players in this API 570 piping uh, inspection. The first one is the owner user. And uh, please note that API always say owner slash user, so they don't differentiate between owner and user. The owner user is responsible ultimately for inspection and repair with the code. So this is a very powerful statement, and it also makes sense because if you, the, the API differentiate them as two separate legal entities, then none of them could be held accountable because the owner would say that the user was supposed to comply with the jurisdictional requirement while the user would argue that the pressure vessel belongs to owner and they should be held accountable. So that's hence owner user is accountable for any shortcomings and non-compliance to codes and specification or jurisdictional requirements. Inspector, the term means actually authorized API 570 piping inspector. That's a complete term. And the inspector is responsible to honor for inspection and approval of the piping for continued safe operation. So this is also a powerful statement that you should remember. The inspector is responsible to the owner. Okay. Um, um, the inspector shall be an individual working for the government, jurisdiction, an insurance company, for a third party under contract with the owner user or directly working for the owner user. Entity examiner is a individual who is qualified and uh, to perform on that particular method or technique and responsible to carry NDT activities as per approved procedure. And if authorized by the inspector can also do the uh, interpretation as well. That means compare it with the acceptance criteria, the result of the evaluation or the discontinuity and report it. But Please note that the inspector is the final authority in accepting or rejecting the NDT reports as well as the inspection reports. Uh, certification of NDT examiner shall be maintained by his her employer. The, he might be uh, NDT activities may be subcontracted by the owner user or uh, maybe part of the owner user team, but it should be available this certification for inspectors review as part of the PEC for the reports and records. Engineer, API defines it as an individual or a team. So when we say piping engineer, it could be a team of piping engineer is uh, considered by API as a single entity and who is knowledgeable in the design review analysis and evaluation of piping. So that is what API recognized that the owner uh, when selecting the engineer should keep in mind that who is knowledgeable in the design review analysis and evaluation of piping and here api says it should be accepted by owner user the reason is that uh, owner user is the ultimate responsibility so they are also responsible for the engineer or team of engineers that they employ so both the engineer and inspector shall approve any re rating 
deteriorating and alteration because this is design change so engineer need to be involved but repair that does not mean any design change it's just a restoration like for like does not need normally engineers approval unless the inspector chooses to consult with engineer again corrosion specialist is a individual who is subcontractor or employed by the owner user and it's an individual who is knowledgeable in material metallurgy damage mechanism and corrosion monitoring and again is approved by the owner for the same reason as owner being the ultimate responsible uh, for the safe operation of the piping integrity operating window is the or the design premises is the design output and uh, so the most feasible thing that you can say is the pressure and temperature range that you can work to but there might be other parameters like the ph content the fluid type of fluid the speed of the fluid and some process parameters also can be uh, part of the integrity operating window and this is uh, range is determined by the design and depends on type of material thickness and exceeding this integrity operating window range may affect the integrity of the piping management of change is when uh, the thing was the, the piping was designed for a particular range and your you have changed the material you have changed uh, uh, any fabrication parameter that initially intended or you change the operating parameters and uh, this should be firstly documented it's very important that this change has been documented and also you have to see that it actually uh, affects the uh, piping in pipe integrity uh, for example by uh, the, the corrosion rate or change in damage mechanism happened because of change of say fluid uh, or the pressure and relevant personnel such as engineer corrosion specialist inspector examiner and maintenance personnel also need to be involved so to see that how this change can affect uh, their uh, scope of the work Conditioning monitoring location is always a good practice to measure uh, uh, the thickness, uh, the corrosion and thickness uh, from the previous one so that you have a comparison, a benchmark, uh, and so you have identified areas on the park that normally you expect the highest corrosion rate or stress concentration, so the weakest link, and uh, you keep on monitoring that location. Uh, and use it as a comparison to see uh, to determine the corrosion rates. Uh, normally, the CMA location are selected uh, by the inspector and should be representative of corrosion behavior of piping. That's what API asks. And so, it, but most of the time, it should be practical location. It should be accessible, and the inspector selects this monitoring location based on the previous history of inspection damages occurred. Or similar piping under similar operating and environmental conditions so this is common sense qc is design and planning of quality control activities whereas the uh, uh, sorry the quality assurance uh, the qa whereas uh, the qc is the actual implementation of these quality assurance activities that has been designed and planned quality assurance manu manual uh, there is a list here that we shall, uh, we shall talk about and uh, eventually remember that uh, the owner user is ultimately res responsible for preparing, documenting, executing and assessing piping, pressure living devices, inspection and repair. The quality manual for piping and pressure living devices uh, that prepared by the owner and uh, implemented and uh, established and uh, include uh, an organization chart who is who, uh, who reports to who, uh, all the QC and QA procedure that's needed to uh, carry out and execute the uh, QA system, uh, the reports and records, uh, the traceability numbering and min maintaining and filing them, the inspection plan, uh, the schedule of what need to be done at what level uh, according to what procedure that's the inspection plan the RBI assessment uh, doing the assessment based on the risk 
uh, risk of failure, the probability and consequence of failure, and then determining the inspection interval and do any auditing uh, to find out uh, whether everything has been implemented correctly. There is nothing, no non-conformance. If so, that should be recorded and followed up and resolved and uh, monitored until resolved. Uh, all the drawings, calculations, uh, repair, rating, and any management of change should be documented and cascaded down to the team and see that how they have been affected and they are aware of these changes. Compliance with the codes and the specification, again, uh, based on the, the procedure and reports and reports, uh, it should be verified. Record of qualified builders, NDT technicians, and approved uh, building procedure specification. Any training that is necessary, material traceability, and material certificates. So as you can see, it's more or less a list of ISO 9001 requirements. Uh, temper embrittlement is uh, a reduction in toughness uh, exposed, uh, of a metal exposed to high temperature uh, around 650 and more degree Fahrenheit. Uh, and uh, the, one of the most significant metal that get affected by this temporary embrittlement is two and a half, uh, two and a quarter chrome, one mole, low alloy steel. And remember that the uh, embrittlement is the reverse of ductility. Um, and hardness is the resistant of material against penetration or indentation. Uh, whereas toughness is resistance of material to deform under force or stress. Okay. It is the area under the stress strain curve uh, in numerical terms or quantitatively toughness. And toughness depends on the amount of stress actually the metal can tolerate and its amount of elongation. Okay. So the stress and the strain. And toughness of the material is determined by Sharpie impact test. That's the end of submodule for vocabulary. Thank you.